Yo, what is up, gamers? Uh, I just woke up, like, just a few minutes ago, and uh, we just got the patch notes, as you can see, literally right now. Just got the patch notes three minutes ago. Got my G Fuel in hand. <sighs> okay. So, I have not read through these patch notes yet. This is my blind read-through. So we'll see what is in here. Dear friends, we present the Escape from Tarkov patch 12.11 full patch notes. Added, factory expansion. Added, new boss, Tagila, kill his brother. He's chosen factory as his place, uh, uh, place of his own and is actively exercises his past sports and combat experience. When it comes to close combat, his favorite weapon is the sledgehammer. When someone gets hit by it, Best case scenario is uh, disorientation, broken bones, but usually it leads to inevitable death. The bosses can set up ambushes, uh, open suppressive fire, and breach if needed. Okay, yeah. Teal is really awesome. I actually have another video on him, and uh, his animations and everything are super sick. They did him incredibly well, so really good change. Super glad they added him. First iteration of weapon malfunctions is in. You can now have misfire, uh, misfires on almost any gun. Um, misfires can be resolved in different ways. Shift T, and then also uh, any bolt-related manipulations. Got it. Okay. Worked on technical condition, the guns and deterioration from firing certain ammunition. Uh, and weapon mods will affect the deterioration speed. We've added a new stat inspector menu called durability burn, which will sh show that. So. What I believe that means is basically, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there are certain like meta muzzle brakes and meta suppressors are going to be causing you penalties. So if you really like that SDN suppressor, well, now it's gonna make your gun break faster. Uh, we also had NVIDIA reflex and decreased input lag. Um, so I've actually tried this so far. Um, I, it's really, I feel like hard to tell the difference apparently it kills like you know a 50 net ms or something like that which is is pretty low but it, it's still like a significant amount it's it's just like it's hard to tell I, I haven't had any problems with it yet so i i don't think there's any reason not to turn on nvidia reflex personally fence reputation uh being represented as scam karma players can now uh, lose reputation by killing non-hostile scavs and gain it by helping scavs, uh, scav bosses to kill their enemy. You can also gain fence reputation by using a friendly scav exfil or using car exfil. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is interesting. I didn't know that you could gain it by using car exfil. I, I bet you a lot more people use this now that, that this is out and this info is out. But I did not know that using the car exfil boosted fence reputation. That is actually crazy. Other than that, I think that there's still problems with this. People will scav in and they'll wiggle at someone and the person will shoot them and they'll fire back and defend themselves. And they're still losing karma for that. So uh, hopefully that gets fixed. But other than that, uh, I think the scav karma system is great. What the rewards will be is the, it looks like the scav box craft time, the amount of X fills a player scav gets. So I've seen this. Some people are only getting like on interchange, they're only getting railway or they're only getting Emercom. So basically this is going to make it to where you get get multiple extracts maybe on reserve you get all the extracts if you have high enough i think this is actually a really really cool way to incentivize it as well the car extract fee that'll be interesting i can't see that lowering too much since you know seven thousand for the most expensive ones already so cheap uh the scav kit that'll be cool i'm not sure how far they're going to bring that though like what kind of guns are, are we gonna are we gonna get scopes are we gonna get like nice armors like you know is it gonna be like the high tier stuff will be Raider gear. I'm, I'm interested to see uh, how uh, far they're going to bring that. Players will be able to purchase uninsured items lost by other players uh, by reaching Fence's max loyalty level. So that's cool. I think basically any items that are left in the raid can be this. But uh, what I'm also hearing, and I'm not sure if this is included, is someone was telling me that if, you know, stuff expires with proper right when the timer runs out that gear will also go to fence so you know that's basically saying like proper sells your shit to fence whenever it expires which makes sense to me sorting table is awesome i don't know if you guys have seen this but basically 
they give you a space like a extra space in your stash that you get to work with whenever um you are sorting your inventory now the thing is this is not a container you can't keep stuff in there but it's like extra space to move your shit around when your inventory is full it's really great it's at the bottom left of your inventory okay well that's cool yeah no i love the sorting table that's awesome what i want next is a weapon workbench so basically when you are customizing a weapon right like building it with the workbench there's a special place for that so you don't get all those errors whenever you're building so i want like a set place for the weapon uh crafting next that would be great full rework of in-game ballistic parameters for objects on all locations uh penetration chances bullet deviation fragmentation new equipment several body armors uh chest rigs backpacks and other items new weapons okay so i wish we had more details about that new quests new butter items new pmc face cups customization new weapon modes the ability to report suspicious players on the flea market okay yeah we love that that's great a special status streamer hide various user information from your game client you can activate uh the status on the main page of the game settings okay interesting i i don't know if i'll use this personally but this will be cool for some people some people will love that out of raid voice uh command settings so yeah i don't know if you guys know this but if you go to your escape from tarkov settings you're able to go to phrases and you're able to set all this up in the menu which i think is great because i think a lot of people weren't using this before because it was confusing how to set it up so now you can set it up pretty easily just right click on whatever you want your voice line to be and then bound it to your functional keys new main background which is really cool i, lo I love this it's it's like the the labs lobby background and then we got the camera that obviously like follows you as you uh move around the menu i thought this was pretty neat little touch new skill weapon maintenance okay new skill troubleshooting i'm i'm sure this is well i'm yeah i'm pretty sure this is related to weapon maintenance as well tta anti-aliasing at weapon uh presets menu first iteration of the en localization rework i'm not sure what this is actually max maximum level of the character is now level 79 i think this is really interesting yeah I, we definitely saw a lot of people at the end of last wipe if you guys know any like the streamers who have hit level 70 a lot of them got bumped up at the end of the wipe to like level 74 so i actually don't know if anyone will hit level 79 this that's pretty high if they they keep the the, the levels the same as they were last wipe at the end when they just changed it if it's still that i don't know if anyone will hit level 79 because the highest i saw was level 74 and that is six months of some of these people who just grind this game so i don't know if anyone will hit level 79 but we will see optics rework this is something super awesome they definitely changed a few of the scopes that were not as good before i really liked the pu scope before on the mosin actually but they updated it and that one looks really good the acog also looks really good i believe that there's a quite a few more scopes i know that they actually also nerfed some of the sites i know some people are pretty unhappy with the pko6 so there is definitely a lot of sites that have changed the aiming camera will now always be equal distance from the weapon the distance does not depend on the sight installed the way it was mounted the gun the receiver the handguard um the change affects mechanical and collimator sights included those in the hybrid size i think that's fine I, so basically if you're front mounting a sight i think is what this is saying then it's it's the same as if you back mount it like there's no eye difference in the distance you know how you'd aim that gun it'd be like super far up before you know like way the sight would be way up there uh, I don't think that that's an issue anymore. They added the limit on the number of the items on the flea market uh, now in one lot. Now the size of the pack of the items can not exceed the size of the stash. Okay, so if you guys saw people listing like 1 million water bottles on the flea market for super cheap and you could never buy them, uh, they fixed that. So people can't do that anymore. The flea market is now accessible at level 20. This is a huge change. And I think a lot of people are upset about this. Some people love it. I think personally it's a good change. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. I think that any changes that slow down the pace of the game are amazing. And I think it's really awesome. I'm going to hop on today and we are still going to have that early wipe feel. I'm not level 20 yet. Most people are not level 20 yet. Even if you are level 20 of flea market, nobody else has it yet. So 
it's still you know we're gonna have that early wipe feeling i think for a while you know this is going to be the slowest moving wipe so far and i think it's great i think this is a really good change the cavalry quest is now more difficult to complete. I'm assuming this means there's like 20 new streamer items that were added. Just off the top of my head, there's the Willer's Wallet. The, there is this new Bomber Beanie. I'm not sure if that's a streamer item. There's the Plushie, Rat Cola, Rat Poison, uh, and I'm sure there's like a billion other new things. Uh, there's literally so many new streamer items. So it will be definitely harder to do that, it, but maybe there's some other new challenge. Several quest rewards have been changed. Some have been improved. I would think, I would like to think that we get good rewards for doing hard quests. Uh, so hopefully this was balanced correctly. Change and rebalance spawn chances for most of the items. Rebalance weapon mods in terms of fighting the meta presets. So I think they are rebalancing items like suppressors and stuff, just trying to make weapons not be so meta, which I think is okay. Rebalance the availability of top tier ammunition and gear. This is great. I don't know what they did with this yet. I, I will be honest, if they removed ammo types like M61, 995 from Traders, uh, BS, 7 and 31, and made that all found a raid, I think that would be amazing. Um, I think that rare ammo and gear should be very valuable and very rare. If they did this correctly, this will be the best thing for the game ever, honestly. It'll, it'll really make it to where people are using mid-tier gear for a while. And th this will be just a great wipe all around. So I'm super excited for that. Reduce the strength skill bonuses for movement speed. Okay, a lot of people talked about this probably happening last wipe, so I'm not surprised there. Increase the leveling speed of mag drills. That's good. That never levels up, so that's good. Redone lighting for the game interface, uh, interface objects. So I don't know if people have noticed this. I have definitely noticed that there is a the lighting is different the game looks better i don't know what it is but yeah this is probably it the game looks really good right now like the game looks really good and it feels like it's loading better too like running smoother loading better so i'm i'm really really uh happy with this uh updated the end game map for woods that's good uh new players will stop being so confused on why ha only half the map is there fixed in some cases, players would spawn even after a successful mashing would get back into the main menu. I'm glad they fixed that. It, I wasn't kicked all day yesterday from a lobby, so it really just seemed like it was fixed. Totally silent movement of the Sherman guards. You would see a Sherman guard moving at night and you'd think it was a cultist on woods just because they were running without footsteps, so that's good. The player hung on the blank screen after pressing the back button on the treatment screen after raid. The progress of the crafting skill diverged between the client and the back end after production was completed. Uh, the inventory and the animation, inventory and the animation of the player's hands hung when the player tried to move the cartridge from the chamber of a weapon in his hands to a full stack of ammunition. Strong and weaker nade throws now work the same way, held down by the key, thrown and released by the key. Uh, this does not depend on the aiming key settings. Mod mods locked behind a quest did not unlock on the purchase screen for the preset even after completing the quest. The consumption rate of the air filter was higher than it was supposed to. Okay, that's good. Uh, at the moment of the weapon assembly in the presets menu, the separate weapon mod would be applied. At the moment of weapon weapon assembly of the preset menu, the separate weapon mod would be applied even if the gun already had such a mod on it. Okay, that's good. That definitely is going to reduce the bugginess of the weapon crafting. The production timer of the hideout, which has been cropped visually. Wait, hmm. I don't know what that means, but that's probably good. The library did not speed up the crafting and hideout management skills. Okay, well, that's good. They changed that. Full catch animations used to be replaced with the charging handle loading ones. It's on the Aventail, worse than the condition of the helmet itself, not the condition of the Aventail. Okay, interesting. Saga 12 and PP PP9 clean stocks would get folded together with a quick drop of the backpack. Inventory and the animation of the player's hands hung at the player simultaneously opened the door with the key and threw a grenade. Transfer screen of the scav layered onto the main menu of the screen after restarting the game on the transfer screen. The player could not go sideways through doorways. Filters for food, medicine that did not work in the player's stash. Uh, quest item Punisher 4, which could be done without a scav vest. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, you could do this Punisher 4 quest on Shoreline. The scab ball clavic kills with literally just any face cover last wipe 
and so that's fixed this wipe for sure strength endurance and covert movement progress was not properly counted during the raid okay awesome weapon mastering progress was not properly counted during the raid characters empty uh, hand animation at a distance wait characters empty hand animation at a distance so i think what this means is that you'd see people in the distance and it looked like they had like a hatchet or they had nothing in their hands you know like maybe a pistoling looked like he had just his fist out so that's a good change the player with empty hands could not drop a backpack interesting uh incorrect sensitivity on the mechanical site for the acog the remaining generator runtime counter was not synchronized between the fuel canisters and the generator itself the observer was not able to see the grenade the grenade in the dropped backpack of the player put the backpack right out of his hands okay the observer did not see the grenade that the player put on the ground right out of his hands the sorting uh of lots by time of removal of the flea market did not work the reticle on the Inverness was placed below the alignment of the vector and the ump the breed sounds were not played if the player used up stamina and the kiver visor was down the player would go to a cross position if they were trying to hide a quest item from the prone position changing the shadow visibility setting was not applied during the raid Hang, uh, hanging animation of the player's hands uh, after reconnecting the server at the moment of throwing the grenade the apply button on the treatment screen after the raid was active even when no treatment type was selected the player wouldn't get out of ads mode when chamber loading the gun med kits that removed the negative effect from a non-priority limb and left the priority limb untreated and freeze that when reloading some of the weapons via the context menu d for putting a cultist knife with an incomplete poison supply on the flea market interesting discrete shadow movement from distant objects on high settings the ability to, to load weapons with the unexamined am ammunition okay let's say you got the new mosin ammo for the mosin you can't load that ammo until it's examined now the edit pocket map marker window did not close after loading into the raid lamps did not break for other players if you broke it with a melee weapon okay interesting unable to fill items by dragging and dropping when purchasing from a trader game freezes when equipping items from the letter during the transfer of items through the get everything button aiming magnification is not switched when reinstalling the optic site with the additional reflex site uh change of the character position icon when opening the inventory while prone correcting the effects of light sources uh flicker slash flares <clears throat> abrupt changes of the weapon model in the hands of the character when switching to another weapon uh inaccessibility of loot on a shelf in red room okay cool some people will be very happy about that various audio fixes nice uh fixes with various problems related to the use of weapons and equipment fixes for various errors in trade and merchant services minor fixes to character stats fixes for very various issues exploits on locations okay nice fixes for some audio issues wait didn't they say that already various audio fixes fixes for some audio issues okay nice nice lots of audio fixes then perfect some graphic fixes and improvements some server bug fixes uh fixes of some back-end issues fixes of some game interface elements and some bug fixes in localization fixes for some bugs in offline rates physics optimization various graphics optimization various server optimization nice okay well awesome so that is the whole 12.11 patch notes there is still some stuff they are leaving out like obviously they didn't give us a list of all the quests and the guns and stuff they changed so there's still some stuff to discover I think that this patch has honestly been awesome so far I've, I'm really happy with how they've slowed down the patch and I think that this is going to be an awesome wipe so thanks again for watching the video guys if you liked make sure to subscribe and other than that enjoy your wipe guys hope you guys have good raids out there and I will see you next time.